morning, everyone. Nice to see you here. I think it's quite early morning for everyone to wake up such time and for a serious speech. So um, I think for this morning, because I'm first section to talk about uh, the design issue. So I think about I would like to give you uh, some idea about what I'm going to do. First, you see my topics here is about next innovation playground design with cultural engagement. Those are the topics I'm going to uh, address. And I think you can imagine we, there will have three main sectors our concern. One is about innovation, another is about design, and also about cultural engagement. What do you mean cultural engagement? Uh, I think when we talk about a culture, it's quite a complex issue. And I think about how to deliver this idea to you all in this morning. Because it's quite early morning, everyone just wake up and think about we should have a relaxed day for opening. But now we talk about a culture. Culture is quite complex. Everybody know, but everyone say, I don't know what's my culture. Maybe, maybe you will say, I'm not really understand totally because every time you understand your culture, when you got the when you start to immerse in different cultures, you just sense you are different from others. So that's why you're concerned about culture, it's quite important. Also, you, are, you have your own culture, that's quite unique and independent for yourself. That's why I think about in this morning, we start to talk about culture. I would like to think about um, how can I deliver this idea to you all. And the thing about culture could be that kind of and it's very poor for everyone to think about that to have a lot of good idea can come from by your own culture. Right, so like I say, when we start to contact with other culture, then you start to understand you are quite different. That's the first time I really sense I'm quite different from others. It's when I started studying just abroad, just in UK. Uh, I get my master's degree in Taiwan, and then I started my PhD degree just in UK. That's for four years for doctoral research. And the first two years, I studied in Sheffield Hall University, that's uh, in central England. That's the place you can and you can imagine, I started to contact with English people, started immersing in English culture, and uh, with different, you, different kind of uh, interesting issue involved with culture. But what do we think about culture? You know, when I start my research there and I traveling for a long journey and then be and then arrive in the UK, I start in major maybe UK is is a like a quite popular city like uh, uh, in Taipei, maybe New York, it's a very busy city. But the first airport I I start is history and then I fly to Manchester. That's a different, that's another airport. And, and when I arrive at the airport and go to the Sheffield, I pass through a national park just in central England. That's a place you can imagine, not a not city. It's like a rural place in countryside. So then I start imagine where I come, why I come here, and what this place will deliver me different content about research. So that's the place I think about, right? Okay, it's a country that's different from my own. And what I will do here, and what I can start my study, and even you know my living, stay my life here, is because for at least three years to four years. That's a big long time. So I, two years in Sheffield, I work in England. And another two years, I because my supervisor just transferred his job to the Scotland. He got a job promotion, become a head of school in Robert Golden University. That's the reason I traveling to there and I start my another studying journey. So in that's in, in Scotland. It's quite different from England. You can uh, when I work in the in the, my research office, I you can even the accents you can find is different. Also, people think England and Scotland, even they are in the same Britain, but they are different country in the same island. So I think why you know that for me is quite it's first time remember I start to understand they think they are different different people just in the same island. And uh, even you, you talk about their language, you can you go through the street, you contact with different people. Just walking around, street, go shopping, talking with people on the counter. You find the accent is different. Even the get they use the language just 
you know, different. And I think about, right, so I need to get used to another living here. So for these first two years, I'm in England, and another year in Scotland. So that gave me a lot of opportunity to contend with different cultural issues. For me, it's really quite inspiring. Also for me to think about what I am and what I, I own and what's my culture. So I think you know, for these four years, for these four years, uh, what I really, uh, I think it's quite important for doing PhD research because I think most people know once you finish your PhD research, you will become independent researcher. That means you need to have uh, sufficient uh, ability to do independent research and uh, you need, you will be the person to figure out what's the problem, what kind of tool, what kind of logical can deal with this question and finally you have a solution for it. So for this process, it's quite a challenge for you to think about critically. And uh, in different culture, first thing you need to learn, I think especially here, you see that I show this image, that's a seminar for sharing different perspectives with my colleagues. I think that's the most important lesson for me is to think about what's the argument. Because we come from different cultural background. To have arguments, normally in our culture we will play some authority and also we will be like, for example, like maybe teachers say something quite important, you must be saying that's very important. But actually, maybe they have a different answer. Especially, I would say, when doing research, you will understand this, there is no perfect research. And even they have 50% uh, answer to say, yes, this answer is right. But they must have another 50 saying, no, that's not that's wrong. So for this case, I think about argument is very important. Once you have a, question or maybe or you get some idea you always question it or what do you really think about what really inspire you to think something else i think that's very important so when i in this place i think about argument is very important but how can you have argument especially when we want to deliver a good design, we need to have statement. Statement is very important. But what do you mean to say statement? I think first you need to have question. You need to learn how to discover a question, define a question, and then you will develop method and tool, techniques, finally you will have a solution. Right. So for here, I start when I come back to Taiwan, I become a teacher in a university. I need to deliver knowledge. And the knowledge, especially for research status, you always think about, you want to think about the, what is the originality of knowledge. That's very important. So I start to think of everything you need to look at the face. Face is very important, but dif dif difficult to cover. Because in our world, that's a lot of message and complex. You couldn't tell what's really true. Once you look at the news on the TV, but sometimes you maybe you are really confused what the news tell you. So I think in this complex world, if we look at good science for the design, they have two things quite important. One is creative activity. What do you mean creative? Creative activity. Maybe in your you start thinking about you know, like a, even when you are in a, like a kids, you start play some game. Game could be some activities, or maybe now you work in this room and maybe you have some like some activity afterwards for to join this uh, design uh, context, and also they have some. Uh, some interesting work like happening in the school or even in society that could be happening around the world. Another thing I think also is quite important is life aesthetics. Life aesthetics, how did you deliver your own aesthetics? I think for everyone you are unique. And how did you look at the world? You have your own perspectives. But the thing is, how did you deliver your sense uh, your test, I think it's difficult. We always say knowledge you can deliver, but test sense you can't. So, for your life, I think experience is very important. 
you need to always think about what you really aim. For example, I just say, sometimes using culture is always you familiar with, sometimes you feel strange, because once you are always in there, you only see it, then it becomes transparent. But if you stand out of it when you study overseas, then you look at your own country, then you start seeing that's different. That's why we talk about, you, you can see a lot of uh, issue talk about creating industrial. Let's try to think about industrial. It's not about uh, you know heavy labor. It's not about uh, uh, dance work. Uh, dance comes uh, works. They could be more creative. So I think about I is define the experience design. It need to have four element. First emotion, emotion. Second the intuition arts. Because people say things very directly, that's just intuitively, they have feeling about it. And the now is about design. You have design process to make the thing finished, complete to your customer. And the usability, I think that's quite basic line for doing uh, designing a product. Your product must be use, useful, that's basic. But some people say, Maybe I, they just need something uh, aesthetic, especially when people talk about cultural border. But the, here I would like to define it differently because you, you know, if you want this product, just always be look at in a uh, substantial way. I think uh, useful usability is quite important. That's the basic line. So I. How did you find out, understand those creative industrial and uh, activity and uh, life aesthetics? I think you need to have kind of uh, dis discover discovery tool, and also you need to have that kind of mindset. And the way where you can deliver the, this kind of mindset, I would like to say one one way you can find it out it could be if you heard about ethnography. Ethnography concept is quite interesting because in the past time, you uh, we ethnography is is just uh, a talk about research in most uh, in a culture or in a society for a long time to discover some phase and phenomena and finally they can build up their theory. So that's a place that has more challenging. But also, it's like uh, it's the place you need to immerse, immerse it and uh, to get and uh, what you can learn from it. So in the beginning, I think everybody is like um, even like me when I go uh, go to the university. It's like a freshman. Everything for you is interesting. It's fresh and the youth inspire you want to learn. So I think ethnography give you the concept. You know, it's just like a freshman. You in university, you start to open your own eye, look at the world, and uh, that's the same when you look at different culture. So for the ethnography, they have this, uh, some toolkits. Here I only list out some several toolkits, but of course you can deliver different because like uh, uh, another view ever just in deliver another turn is turn like a cultural props. It's quite similar like a ethnography context because they have the same body to talk about how to look at a culture. So here like a participant observation, uh, in-depth uh, interview and so on. That is something you can use for ethnography. If you're interested in this issue, maybe you can Google it to look at forwards. So I have a comment about ethnography. What me? As an algorithm, it's just like the world of describing a culture. And the goal of ethnography research is to understand another way of life from the native uh, point of view. I think that's the way to define how what I mean. Why I think if you be a designer, that's quite important for you to have the kind kind of point of perspective. Then you uh, that's the way I think it's quite uh, in, it's quite helpful for you to think about how did you understand the culture in the beginning. I use a picture to show it me because doesn't mean you need to have an observation first and then understanding. Because sometimes you need to wear what's mean question and then you start to observe what's happening around. 
and uh, then you understand. So, just depends on how did you define your question, and then you will use this picture. But I think that's a, a quite important ability to establish, to find out you how to have uh, the kind, uh, the, the kind of ethnography uh, ability. So, I would like to give you some example that I start uh, some project with my student and I want to give them some training just like even you are doing a designer but you need to have kind of researcher's mindset. You need to define a question, find out what's real, uh, real question and what's in, what could be helpful for people. So they need to deliver not just the product. I think the training and the what they get, the idea they have is need to postpone it to, you know, they need to think about further for their own experience. So I use this diagram, 4D diagram, to just like a re just a, a reflect what I say. They have four section to do the cooperation with the project with you know, when people want to do the project with, uh, with design involved with culture. So first is discover, define, develop, deliver. And then I give you one example that's my student just done. This year they, die, they get a Yandex Golden Wars and they also get a radar witness. So when, when we start from this question, I think that's quite an interesting example. Because for students, if they want to know temple, I think temple you will think about worship. And worship is something for students, maybe they just follow their parents and they are not really know the meaning. So when we start go for this this issue, I think that uh, in the beginning, I I I encourage my student, you need to go to a place to see what the problem is. I want them to report what they find in their place. Uh, when we look at the uh, Longsan Temple, and uh, I find my students went there and they, they try to discover what they really need designer to improve the situation, what is important. So they go there to observe what happened there and make a note, even they will take some video. So when they go there, the first group of students, they went there, they find out that's interesting things. People get in, but they not really understand which way is a good direction to do the worship to God, and how to you know, visit the temple, and what's the meaning about those decorations in the temple. So, and also when they finish their basin, they went out, they want to bring something back. They find some amulets like this picture, you see? I think this one, Longsan Temple Emperor, that's the one now just saying in the Longsan Temple. You can see it's quite similar to Japanese style amulet. Then the traditional way is like this way, it's quite different. Not the Taiwanese style, very traditional one. But now you 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 will see most popular amulet selling in the uh, Longsan Temple in this, in this style. So you know people think they are not really care what main culture is there. Even they just buy something they like. That's quite intuitively. Therefore, my student, I want them to find what is the gap for this designer to improve. And so we, I want them to think about even temple is a place for worship, but they can think that's a place for, you know, for pe uh, for people to be in like a museum style, and they can think this case could be uh, in. Uh, could be deliver kind of service system for designer get in to improve and, and produce some good product for people to have. And uh, it's not just about mean something about the temple worship and also hold a good fortune there. Also mean this map important memory when they are there, especially for the international tourists. So we think about because in the beginning student when they they told me. The most uh, uh, souvenirs selling there only cost very cheap, uh, 100, 200. That 200, over 200 is very expensive. I told them, if you put the design in, and uh, you put the time, you put the creative in, but you only cost 200, that's less. You must be challenged higher, and uh, you need to deliver something different. So finally, we want to make a, a price, is something like a 600 product for people to 
uh, encourage people to to buy. So I think that's a challenge for them because that is quite different from people normal things products there. So I uh, we we went there because first we find out people don't understand how to wash it. So they start to deliver how to for they have some guideline for tourists to understand how to do the worships and they have and also what meaning for those car how what if they got some problem or difficulty which car can give them some fortune to give them some place and protect if you you want this bad. And we also told the whole history about the temple and the old story about those gods. So for especially for tourists, that's really inspiring because it's not just about having, that's about memory, it's about learning. I think that's an important thing for to have an experience there. So they also, that's some image about the decorations in temple. And we make it like a postcard, but all the postcard is like a, a tourist guide told them how what the meaning about those things. And also they have some his also we introduce not just Long San Temple, also the whole area just nearby. So people can go there and have a one day traveling. So that's a, I think that's another way to improve the local tourism. So also we change the amulet style, but also keep the traditional flat tests. And so you can see that's the amulet here, and uh, that they can change the color by temperature. So later, if you're interested, I can show you the video. And uh, here, I would like to have a comment about, you know, people buy things. We know by saying you need to you need to pay. But the most important and this moment I think people not just want to buy things, they want to buy experience. That's why you can see more designers to create more interesting and attractive world. Because even you know, you can have uh, you can have a uh, milk, just a milk by the farm, by you know, by the by the fresh uh, cow farm, but uh, you can have a uh, you know, very fresh, a uh, fresh milk with a beautiful package, with beautiful design, just sell in a good shop. So that give you different meaning, a different quality, different sense. So when we start to think about this idea, I think that's quite important for people to think about how did you can find a different and uh, unique. Uh, element for design. I think your culture can give you some answer. So for this session, I would like to stop here and hope and later we have another session to talk about this idea further. Thank you for your attention.